Walking down the stairs into the basement or boiler room, you stand in front of the boiler and notice the tridicator gauge on the front of the boiler jacket. The gauge has two arrows and a bunch of numbers. The pressure shows 10 PSI. Which should the gauge read? Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective Channel. I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. Today we're discussing a hydronic boiler's pressure temperature altitude gauge. It's also called a PTA gauge or a tridicator. Whether you're a seasoned professional or a newbie, I hope you learned something new from this video. One arrow on the gauge shows the pressure. The other arrow shows the temperature inside the boiler. How much pressure is normal? The system pressure is used to lift the water to the highest radiator. Most techs think the circulator is what pushes the water up but all it does is create circulation. Consider this. When deciding how much pressure we need, one pound of pressure will raise water 2.3 feet. If we look at the drawing, we see the top of the highest radiator is 30 feet high. If we divide 30 feet by 2.3, we will need 13 PSI at the boiler. An additional 3 to 4 PSI is recommended as a safety factor. This would make our system pressure between 16 and 17 PSI. If the system pressure were 10 PSI, as we found above, the water would only reach 23 feet high. The top radiator would have no flow and no heat. Once you increase the pressure to 16, you would have to vent the highest radiators to remove air trapped in the piping. After venting the air, Check the system pressure because it's probably dropped. Some tridicators have a movable arrow, which I set for the desired system pressure, in this case, 17 PSI. When setting the system pressure, I like to have a minimum of 5 PSI between the system pressure and the relief valve set point. Some of the older PTA gauges had an altitude reading, usually on the same arrow as the pressure. Many of the newer tridicators don't show the altitude, and you have to do the math yourself. A rule of thumb is to divide the height of the highest radiator by 2. This gives me the system pressure or close to it. The average room height for a home is 9 feet, and I usually round it to about 10. So if you want to ensure water is at the highest radiator of a two-story home, I use 20 feet, which would be 10 PSI. For commercial buildings, I estimate the height to be 15 feet for each story. I like watching the tridicator when the burner is firing. If the pressure increases while the burner is firing, this could indicate the expansion tank is flooded. You may need to drain the expansion tank. If the system pressure increases over time, the pressure reducing valve could be misadjusted or defective and leaking through. If I have doubts about the pressure accuracy of the PTA gauge, I connect the water test gauge to the boiler drain and open the drain valve. I compare the readings on this test gauge to the PTA reading. They should be pretty close. After shutting the drain valve and removing the water test gauge, I screw a cap onto the drain. They always leak. When replacing the tridicator, remember it's submerged in the boiler water. If you unscrew it, the water will shoot out. Valve off the supply and return, and drain the boiler before replacing the gauge. The gauges come in two styles, bottom and rear facing. Be sure to choose the right one when ordering it. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more expert advice and tips. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is FireIceHeat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. My boiler books are available on Amazon, and my technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.